There's a word. From God. In the book of Malachi. The book of Malachi. The book of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malachi. Third chapter. First verse. There you'll find. Behold. I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me and the Lord whom ye seek my, 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 my shall suddenly come to this temple even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in behold he shall come Said the Lord of hosts. Y'all go ahead and sit down. Yes. <laughs> the host is answering a question today. Where do we go from here? This kind of question is asked as it is derived from the action of those that once knew where they were going. And now they have reached a point as we have today when we ask the question, where shall we go from here? <coughs> and in our going, <laughs> Not only where shall we go from here, but what shall we sow? <laughs> where should we go? And where do we go from here? All right. Yeah. And I want you to understand when we look at this text, we are talking and looking at the testimony of a people that once knew <coughs> where they were going. And you know it seemed that we haven't any problem with direction as our forefathers did. They didn't have any problem with the objective of the hour in which they were living in. Their main objective was that we were born into nothing. With nothing. But now we are learning how to pray for a greater time. And when I looked at this, I began to see our generation in this passage. Because a lot of times we ask these questions of direction when we reach a point that he promised. All right. Then we want to know, since we reached it, where do we now go? because it would appear that we no longer have anything to ask God for. Y'all gonna catch in a minute. Because what we now ask him for has nothing to do with the necessity to help someone else get to where we are. Now that we are in this place, you have to understand what was going on with Israel. 
Israel was God's chosen people as we are as Christians. Huh? And they were the recipient of the special pouring out of God's mercy. Now this is good. And his love. They, my God, had survived hardships, heartaches. Now they are prospering. Huh? And religious gatherings are good. They've come through the hard times. God has blessed them. And now they're in a place with where shall we go now? Like Israel, we too must wrestle with the question of direction. Shall we rest? with our past accomplishments retired to the measurements of the status quo we got it they need to get it everybody's talking about prosperity or shall we pursue man this is good the future with the zeal Bathed in the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. Israel was where they were because when they prayed for a better time, after a better time overtook them, they stopped talking to the one that caused a better time to care. Yeah. It would appear that we have, and we where we have we have the lack of direction because we have leaned to our own understanding and comfort. We don't pray for God to do anything that he's already done. And when he did it through the prayers of our forefathers, we got it. We become so selfish with it. So we're asking God, what do we do with it? We're doing what we want to do with it in the name of him. And now, let me tell you what happens. And now we are so unfulfilled with what we have, so we're looking for something sick and nasty that's unreal to give us excitement. What we gonna do? We got it. My granddaddy prayed for, it, and I am the recipient of it. But since I got it, I don't have an objective anymore. Many of our young folk, they're not. Their objective is not to be greater than we were. Their objective is to be comfortable with what they already have. But we stopped praying after we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God damn. The same thing that happened to Israel happened to us. After they got what the prophet God promised them, they no longer knew what to pray, so they were comfortable with the status, with tradition. We don't think we have in church unless we have it for traditionally sound of the knowledge of a man. We're not having the unusual miracle worship service of where God can come in and produce a miracle and a wonder because we've been praying and we've been talking to him and our main objective is to see miracles and wonders of God that a generation may live greater than we live. But we're so, we're so jealous now. And guess what? These babies are jealous and lazy and ungrateful because that's a learned behavior. Talking about it. We, somebody had to teach them. Yeah. If you yeah. didn't, you wasn't on your job. Ah, yeah. 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 don't, 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 don't get it twisted. Don't, yeah. don't, don't blame them yeah. that they're unselfish. Yeah. Don't blame them that they're selfish. Don't blame them that they're ungrateful. Yeah. Don't blame them because they're not praying for anything. They're yeah. not aspiring to be doctors or lawyers. Yeah. They're not yeah. they're going to be true. football players yeah. and all that. Yeah. And all of them are messed up. Let me tell you why. Because they come from the ghetto and they have no morals and no standards. Yeah. And when they get there, they waste it. And when they get yeah. there, wasted, yeah. then they broke and they go back to where they came from. And that's the street. Yeah. 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 Where are we going to go? Yeah. Come on now. What's our objective? What is it? For even coming to worship, why do you come and stay the same? Ah, you the same way that you've been for 10 years. You're the same. But you're covered up. That's what happened to them. They had no objective. They, they were so comfortable.
trouble and with things and stuff. We don't pray for better stuff. We don't pray for better things. And we don't live for God to give it to us because Satan caught us slipping. Yeah. Yeah. If they ain't going to do right no way, let me give them something to keep them wrong. What? 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 Israel got the money. They received it when they were praying for it, and after they got it, something happened to them. And I want us to look at this today because Israel is really what we have become undercover. Because we don't pray with an objective anymore. We pray, ah, thank you, Master. We pray with our wants <coughs> as our needs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. And we don't pray for what we need mm -hmm. no more because he's already provided. Yeah. Yeah. And because he's already provided what we need, we're no, com we're no longer comfortable with what we need. Yeah. So we pray for what we want. We, we, our objective, see, when you're praying for your needs, see, uh huh, just God promised you your needs, but see, you sow and seed your way into prosperity. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, they didn't have no money, so what did they see? They seeded a powerful prayer request yeah. that lined up with the desires of God because on, yeah. God cannot hear you if your heart is not right. Come so, what did I know about yeah. 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 the heart had to be right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Even if you did wrong, mm -hmm. you had to get right. Yes, yes. See, I'm looking at somebody and you ain't yes. been right your whole life. Uh -huh. But you had to right get right because yes. the main yes. objective. Yes. Ah. Yes. You can have it because you got the prodigal son nature. And you got a taste of some things. And you wanted what you wanted before mama and them was ready to give it to you. So you thought you'd shoot them deuces and say, I'll check you on the other side. Yes. I'm wrong now. Hey. Wow. But because you, I want y'all to get back to it. Because the main objective was praying, cover my daughter, cover my son. You got out there, but you couldn't stay there. Come on back in. What's what's the symbol? We too, like Israel, we wrestling with the question, and we need some direction that only God can give. And when we look at the church today, we know that the answer is in Jesus. Come on, come on. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We say it, but in order to know where the answer is and get mm -hmm, uh -huh, to get the question answered by the one that we make the request to, we have to be in position for the answer. Uh -huh. okay. How many of y'all been praying for some of y'all position? Come on now. What makes you out of position? Oh. I wish that we just shut up and stop talking to him. Then he wouldn't have to turn the light on us. We're talking to him, but our lifestyle is not what he requires. That is should be. It don't line up with the prayer request. It don't line up. It don't line up. And you have to understand, once you get in position for your blessing, wow. you can't stop your blessing when you're in position. But you can't fly. When you're in position. Y'all getting quiet on me. I'm looking, I'm looking, this is really good. I'm looking at this because this is real. You know, Israel, listen. Israel always knew the way to go. And that's um, and I text out Israel at a point in its history that was familiar. It was in the closing of the chapter in its development and now they were pondering on which way they should go. In the beginning, they got it. Toward the end, they begin to lose it. Not in things, but in spirit. How many empty buildings? Yeah, I ain't caught. Let me give it to me. How many buildings do you know that are full but empty? In the beginning, they had it. Toward the end, they lost it. Huh. Didn't know which way to go. Right. Now, but they didn't have, they had the audacity to ask the question without mm -hmm, looking forward to the answer. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Now, they ask the question, where do we go from here? Because we got it, but we're not happy with it. Now, we got a lot of buildings that are full, but they are empty. Right. That The building, this is not the church. When Amen. we come in here, we make the church. That's the right. church is within us. And, yeah, if we, yeah. and we don't have the turning of the Holy Ghost. God is not. Now, we, I don't know about the bright chandeliers, the marble floors, all that. That's good. Sound and all that. That's good. But God is not there. God is not in the sound. Uh -huh. God is not in a look. Yeah, yeah. Now, we put y'all to dress up for God to come in, yeah. and we can't bring it. I mean, this is, this is really simple stuff. What happens is that when you get out of touch with God, and when you ask God the question, where should we go? What should I do? What should I show? We got to be ready for the answer. My God, this is good. And in history, they, they ponder and, and they begin to wonder what, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, what should I do, what should I do? But when I begin to really look at this, I, I saw I saw that they 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 lost it because they stopped expecting the answer beyond what they understood in their own mind to be the answer. We're cool with God. As long as he answer us the way we think in our own finite mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God all right with me. Yeah. yeah. I want this new car. He all right with me. See. When he give it to me. Yeah. I want this man. <laughs> and I know he ain't no good. See. But God is good. And I know good. When he give it to me. See. Y'all get this woman? I know if she won't have to do what I ask her to do See. before I put a ring on her. But she's so fine. Watch yourself. God would just allow me. I want y'all to catch this. I want y'all to catch this. Ah. If he would just allow me. Ah. See, my ah. objective is to Line up in here. live life and have life more abundantly. Yes. But our objective is not to deserve the life that God gave his life on, for through Come his on, son, yeah. Jesus Christ. Because yeah. 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 if that be the case, we are busy. Our objective is Romans 12 and 1. Mm -hmm. That we now present our body. As a living. Oh, you got on your knees and say, God, I don't have nothing clean within me. But I'm a man. Our objective is to get to where you want me to be. So I'm not going to ask you why I need to go. You can show me. You can show me because I'm not presenting my body. I'm going to get on your knees. We are so tied up in tradition and stuff and things. We got some God. Come on, you need. We are so tied up in tradition and stuff and things. the objective. Everybody, when you check the history out in the Word of God, you'll find out that everybody that had objective had objective under strain. Huh? They had objective. See, we, we got it too good. Yeah. Can I just keep it real? Our children had it too good. I didn't want my babies to go through what I went through. So I tried to give them more than what I had. But I mean, Michelle, we didn't know any better. We should have been giving them more Jesus and let them get old enough to go get them a designer suit. Saran dressed better as a baby boy when he didn't know what clothes meant. They're going to catch that. I can't get upset with him now if you don't want to put on what I like. Because I didn't teach him the importance of some things. But it was too easy. And look at this. When we look at this. When in slavery. Let's see. Egypt. The goal was clear. To become free of bondage. When they were in slavery. The objective was clear. Their prayer was clear. I want out. I, I want up out of this. I want to be free. When. In exile, Babylon, the goal was, man, equally clear, get back home. When they were in Babylon, they prayed that God help us get back, because where they were, 
prayer be pleasant. That will kiss in a minute. I don't want to talk about kiss. See, 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 our prayer life, our objective changed when we were no longer in trap, no longer striving for better. We got it so good. When have you prayed that God, God bless me with better so I can be a blessing? When Israel was in a crisis, what they wanted was easy to visualize. You know some, but outside of crisis, circumstances, and situations, it was hard to see. Now let me show you what happened now. Soon as we got free of being in debt, there you go kissing. Soon as we got free from wearing the same Clothes. See, we were cool when we was growing up. All my friends and they mamas, we shopped at JCP. <laughs> so by the time I got to school, they couldn't talk to my, about my tough skins because they was wearing tough skins too. <laughs> I'm kissing a minute. But they prayed that we would have it better. We got it better. But we don't teach our children because we have it better. We're not praying and teaching them that on, you only have what you have to go and be greater, mm -hmm. that you might be a greater. Mm -hmm. See, come on. Come on. And that's what's wrong with the church. We have been blessed, mm -hmm. but we're not looking for anybody because our objective is no longer to help, but it's our objective now is to outdo what we see oh other folks do. Come on now. Oh, you're teaching in this place. Yeah. Yeah. Help us to grow. It's not, it's not, it's not our objective to pray. The, the, mm -hmm, thank you, Master. We pray on a family, not pray for a family. Yeah, yeah. Our objective is not to see my next door neighbor get a Cadillac, but to see me get a Cadillac and let them marvel over my Cadillac. Y'all don't kiss in a minute. But, but when they were under struggle, they were praying. They were praying and they won't target. And just as Israel knew, where they were going after they came through. They also knew what they needed to get them there. Okay. Now listen, this happened in transition. And look at this. When in bondage, they turned to the Lord, who sent Moses, a messenger, to say to Pharaoh, let my... But well, why? Well, why you won't listen to the... Oh, Messenger. Oh, Moses, I am that I am have sent me yes, to tell you on behalf of those that trust the Father. I am their messenger. We have come so far and we have so much we don't want to listen to anybody except we define them to be great enough to talk to us. Moses had a speech in Paris, but God said, I'm going to send a messenger that can't have talk, and when he begins to speak, you'll know it was me that sent him because of what comes out of his mouth. This is so high. How can you not hear the messenger? Moses told him and then I see Joshua, a messenger. I don't know old man, not a young man. We talk kisses, y'all been listening. God has no respect to person. No. Come on. If you praying and praying right, he'll send there an obvious to let them know that it's him. Joshua, so y'all come here. I know y'all been praying. You don't know what you're gonna do. You have gotten excited about what God has blessed you with. And now y'all serving idols. You know what's happening. Yeah. Heathen way of lifestyle. Come here. Yeah. I'm a messenger. Y'all hear me? Right. He tells in the scripture, I'll send you a messenger. messenger. Yes. And his message will be from me. Yes. Moses, as old as he was. Why would he tell them, my old man, I don't know what y'all going to do. Mm. But for me... I'm old man, I'm old. I ain't got no many, many years left. 
But as for me and my house, yeah, yeah. we will serve the Lord. Y'all catch that? Yes, sir. Messenger. I'm going to send you a messenger. By a messenger. And I'm still looking here. And when he said for me and my house, it went further than where he lived. And then I can hear the psalmist saying, except that the mighty, the Lord. Everybody want to build a building, right? This is a message from the messenger. Unless the Lord build. Oh, come on now. You're trying to do it on your own. Build. Bishop, A house. They are a heap. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want my neighbor to be. I've been through too much. Too many tears, too many heartache, too much pain, too many lied on, been tough. I don't want my neighbor to be in bed unless the house is built in my name, your neighbor. Mm -hmm. No matter where we plan to go, we can't get there. Without the law. I hear the songwriter saying, Where can I go? But to the Lord, if I am troubled, sick, burdened, bewildered, hard timed, where can I go but to the law? And when I go to the Lord, the messenger says, when you go to the Lord, take it and leave it there. Because he said, the battle is not yours. The struggle is not yours. The heartache is not yours. The sickness is not yours. It's mine. Give it to me and I will. The messenger. But we don't listen to the messenger anyway. We listen to all the other mess of false prophets telling us we got to pay for what God has already given to us freely. Oh, oh, I'll tell you, what is your objective? Is it in to get anybody clean? Or do you want to be popular with everybody? I like him, I like her, they cool, they cool with it. But I came to tell you today that when you choose ye this day whom you're going to serve, you're no longer complacent, no longer mm -hmm, satisfied with the ritual wrapped in the dreams that only men talk about. But you're dreaming of a day when men and women shall come together because you told them that the kingdom of God is at hand and God is on his way back. And when we look at this, I hear in the third, the fifth chapter, I hear mm -hmm, the fourth chapter and the fifth verse, I hear him saying, Behold, I will send you Elijah, a prophet, and I hear the New Testament proclaim, In those days, John the Baptist will come uh, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent ye, uh, for the kingdom of heaven uh, is at hand. Uh, when have you told somebody to repent and get right? Uh, that is your main object. Uh, Malachi uh, told him, uh, We need Jesus, uh, but we got some Philistines in the earth today. Uh, they're pointing us. Uh, to spiritless, uh, putting us in spiritless dungeon. Uh, they putting us in um, like the Malachites, um, putting us in point us to a uh, heartless, uh, heartless situation uh, and lifeless statues. Uh, somebody said they have pointed the power that's uh, the power that is an emptiness of bail, uh, and we've let somebody uh, point us uh, to the emptiness uh, of a human. Uh, a way that seemed right, but then now is damnation. We let somebody steer us away from the very presence of God. How can you say that you love God? You let somebody persuade you that you can say you love God and deny your neighbor and hate your neighbor. We let somebody lead us away. Uh, do the carrots uh, uh, 
of things and stuff, uh, but I don't know. Some poor uh, won't houses and land, uh, some poor uh, won't silver and gold, but I will not be persuaded. Uh, I'll let nothing and no one uh, persuade me to leave God. I don't care what they say, uh, cause I what does it profit a man uh, to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Now, I hear Jesus saying, uh, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Uh, your main objective uh, ought to be uh, to present your body uh, as a living, holy sacrifice, uh, holy and acceptable unto God. Uh, when you do this, uh, you're going to see children uh, coming in, uh, taking dope, uh, throwing it down, uh, changing their lifestyle. Uh, when you do this, uh, the church will uh, begin to stand up uh, and be raised up uh, to when we speak uh, over the lives of countries, uh, over the lives of communities, uh, they be healed, uh, delivered, and set free. What is your objective? What is? What is it? Yes. Really? Yes, yes. So God sent you oh. to the body, but all you want to do is what you want to do. Wow. And you think you're fooling God. Yeah, you let me let somebody know that's real slick in here this morning. Say, say. God is an omniscient. Yes. 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 God. Yes. He's an all-knowing yes. God. Yes. But with everything that he knows, he's an omnipotent God. He has all power. And all you got to do is come to him just as you are and tell the truth on yourself. You want to meet the objective. The objector that had love for us. My main objective, God, thank you, was to send my son. That was my main objective. See, a lot of us leaving our lives we living like everybody else because we don't have an objective. Amen. Without objective, you don't have a dream. Without a dream, you don't have a reason for living. You just existed. But I hear him saying, I'm going to send my son. And I'm going to have him to be born like they're going to be born without seeing them. And after he's born, I'm going to allow him to dwell. That was God's objective. Huh? He's going to walk the streets mm -hmm. looking penniless, mm -hmm. looking broke, looking like the poor. But when I raise him up, hey. then the poor will know that there's somebody. Well, no. Why are you thinking, what is your objective? Is God has blessed you. What are you doing with the blessings that God has? Bless you with. He sent his son to pay any debt that's keeping you from the main objective for your life. All you got to do is confess and repent, baby. He already paid it. How did he pay it? We hear it every Sunday. He went to the cross. They whipped him. We, we, we hear it. But how many of us really believe it? How many really believe it? See, when you believe, faith comes by hearing. When you hear the word of God, there's a certain amount of belief that you have. But to experience the relationship, the, 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 the word of God in your life, you have to graduate from just knowing the word, hmm. believing yeah. to trusting in the word. Yeah. And when you trust in the word, mm -hmm. because of your relationship with God, yes. he will make you the recipient and the main character mm -hmm. of your blessing. Yeah. Don't catch that. We're so busy. I may not object. I won't be like my uncle. I won't be like this person. Why you just won't be like Christ? Be like Christ. Be like Jesus. Be like Jesus.